In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my best tips for growing on TikTok if you're just a beginner. These are the same exact tips that Devin Rodriguez Art used to gain over 14 million followers. When I met him, he only had 22,000 followers. Krista Allen, over millions of followers. Joel Magician, over 8 million followers. And so many other creators took this same exact advice that I'm about to share with you and literally gained millions of followers. And every single one of them started out as a small creator just like you are right now. That being said, I do wanna emphasize, right now is the biggest opportunity ever to grow on TikTok, guys. There are more views than ever before. There are more people on the app than ever before. The app has been the number one app on the app store for so long now. So many more downloads than ever before. And guys, this is a huge opportunity. So please stop sleeping on it. If you're new to TikTok, don't worry. You are not too late to the party, but the organic reach, I can promise you, is not gonna last forever. So if you're really ready to take this seriously, you need to do it right now because you might not be able to start taking it seriously seven, eight months from now. Right now is the best time Time to be a beginner on TikTok. And I don't care if you have zero followers right now, 500 followers right now, or even 500,000 followers right now, and you still think you're a beginner, this video is gonna benefit you. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Robert Benjamin. I'm the CEO of Helping You Grow on TikTok. I literally quit my job working for Gary V almost two years ago now to help you grow on TikTok and to create this YouTube channel. I've made videos about the TikTok algorithm, the best time to post, how to gain 10,000 followers in a week, and so many other videos. So please, if you have any questions about anything, leave a comment below. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. I literally answer every single comment that I get on my videos and this video is going to be no different. I cannot wait to help you out. So if you're serious about growing on TikTok, you need to make sure you're posting four to six times a day. Now you might say, Rob, that's ridiculous. How am I going to post four to six times a day? It's actually incredibly easy. And I'll be sharing with you in just a little bit how you can be posting four to six times a day, only using about 10 to 15 minutes a day to create TikTok content. Remember, when it comes to creating TikTok content, if you're spending too much time making your content, it's probably not going to do well on TikTok. Why? TikTok is meant for short clips, short videos, and that is what you guys need to be focused on creating. In addition to that, you need to realize you cannot just come from Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or any other platform and then try to create TikTok content with the same exact principles that you use on those other platforms. You guys need to pay attention to the principles that work on TikTok. And the number one thing that works is focusing on trends. You guys need to be posting trending content. I'm going to share with you a checklist in just a little bit that's going to guarantee that you're creating the right content on TikTok, posting at the right time, using the right hashtags, and so much more. But please first promise me you guys are going to be creating four to six posts a day. Why? Because let's at the end of the day, if you want to get good at creating TikTok content, then you need to create a lot of content. That is just the, that's the end all be all. If you want to be good at basketball, you have to practice basketball. If you want to be good at golf, you have to practice golf. If you want to be good at social media and good at TikTok, it's no difference. You have to be putting in the work, making four to six pieces of content every single day. In addition, it's just the principle that working hard at something is going to make you better at it. Posting more on TikTok is actually going to increase the odds that you go viral. In addition to that, it's going to increase the odds that you find a post that actually works. As beginner creator, the only thing you should be focused on is finding the hashtag that works, finding the sound that works, finding the post type that works, and doing that as many times as you possibly can. Every creator that's blown up on TikTok has done just this. They find a post or post type that works, and then they keep doing it over and over and over again. Now, you're probably saying, Rob, wouldn't my followers get tired of seeing that? No, they're not going to. You want to know why? The great thing about TikTok is if you are able to lock in to an amazing post that gets 100% of the views from the For You page, well, guess what? New people are going to be seeing your video every single time, so your followers aren't going to get used to it. And they're not going to think you're doing the same thing in every single video. In fact, reposting TikToks is one of the biggest hacks that you could do on TikTok. Literally reposting your best posts that you've had before could unlock you going viral on TikTok. That's exactly what happened at Devin Rodriguez Art. Literally gained over 2 million followers in just 24 hours reposting a TikTok and getting people to click the plus sign at the end of it. Now that you guys know exactly how much content you should be producing, I want to tell you how you guys should be coming up with this content. It's got to be trending content. Now you're probably wondering, Rob, what is trending content? Trending content is first, the things that the top creators in your niche are doing. Second, the top videos from under the trending hashtags in your niche. And third, just the things that you see over and over again on the For You page. You guys need to make sure that you're creating trending content on TikTok. The TikTok algorithm is incredibly simple. All it cares about is watch time, the amount of people completing your videos, and the type of content that you're making. If TikTok doesn't think they have an audience for your content, it's not going to get pushed out. The easiest way to guarantee that TikTok has an audience for your content is to make content about things that are already trending on TikTok because clearly, if they're trending, TikTok knows they have an audience for that content. You hopping on that trend is going to be what makes a difference in your content. Now, when I first started posting on TikTok, I literally, for three months, only gained 2,000 followers because I was trying to make original content. The second I started hopping on the trends and turning original content into trending content, guess what happened? I literally gained over 500,000 followers in just 90 days, and the same exact thing is possible for you. Like I said earlier, my mentorship clients have seen way better results than that. Devin Rodriguez Art, literally over 2 million followers in just 24 hours, and that would not have been possible if if he wasn't hopping on the trends and paying attention to the right analytics. 
In addition, after you pass a thousand followers, every single one of you guys should be going live after you post. Ideally, the best time to post on TikTok right now is after 7 p.m. I will be sharing with you all of the best times to post in just a little bit. But majority of people are seeing a lot of success posting after 7 p.m. on TikTok. You guys need to, after you post during that time slot, go live for 30 to 45 minutes. It's gonna skyrocket the amount of For You page views you get, skyrocket the amount of followers you get, and really allow you to engage with your audience on TikTok and find your audience on TikTok. And it's gonna signal to the algorithm that people spend a a lot of time on your content and on your account and guess what that does it increased the amount of views that you get and this is one of the biggest hacks you guys need to be taking advantage of right now in may of 2021 on tiktok so I know I just went on a huge tangent there, but the analytics that you guys need to be paying attention to is again, gonna be the time that you're posting, the percentage of people that are completing your video, you're gonna want this to be over 50% if you're trying to go viral on TikTok, and then also the amount of watch time you're getting. For videos under 15 seconds long, it's gotta be over 100%. For videos 16 to 30 seconds long, it has to be over 75%. And for videos over 30 seconds long, you have to be aiming for over 50% watch time. Now guys, I know, you're probably thinking this is incredibly hard to do, but let me tell you, the most popular videos on TikTok right now are 9 to 13 seconds long. I know that if you hook somebody in in your video and actually make a video that's trending on TikTok, it's going to be incredibly easy for you to get 100% views on a video of that length. So please, make sure you guys are doing that. Post those 9 to 13 seconds videos. It's going to increase the odds of you going viral and you finding a post that actually works. Now that being said, make sure those 9 to 13 second videos, guys, you need to make sure that it's something trending on TikTok. This means it needs to have trending hashtags, needs to be a trending topic, needs to look exactly like what the video looks like. Guys, the algorithm takes everything into consideration. The sound that you use, the color of the text that you have, the length of your video, the lighting, how you actually sound in the video, the quality of the camera in your video. You guys need to make sure that all of these things are up to par. So many creators will send me a post that they're trying to recreate and the post that they did. And I'm like, are you serious? You used the wrong colors. You didn't use the right sound. Your energy was off. You did not recreate the video. You made the poor man's version of the video. Please guys, do not make this mistake. When you're trying to recreate a video, you have to recreate the video exactly. And it's gotta be better. You gotta have more personality. You got to have more energy. You got to have more of a hook. And ultimately, you need to incentivize engagement at the end of your videos. If there's not a call to action, getting people to click the plus sign at the end of your videos, you're missing out on the biggest opportunity ever on TikTok. TikTok, you gain a lot of followers because it's so easy to incentivize people and have a call to action to get them to click the plus sign, which ultimately gets them to follow your account. So please make sure you guys are doing that. And every single person watching this video you should be using certain features on TikTok. And you need to realize TikTok pushes new features like crazy. Right now, duets are getting pushed like crazy. Stitches are getting pushed like crazy. Green screens are getting pushed like crazy. You guys need to find trending videos that are duets, that are stitches, that are green screens and recreate them. I'm telling you, it's gonna help you skyrocket the amount of views and the amount of followers you get on TikTok. The quicker you can get it through your head that you need to hop on the trends on TikTok, the quicker that you're gonna hit your goals, you're gonna get the views that you want, you're gonna get the followers that you want and you are gonna see the success that you know is possible for you on TikTok. That being said, here's the checklist that I promised for you earlier in the video. If your posts on TikTok do not adhere to these six things, don't even bother posting it because the odds of it going viral, the odds of it working, the odds of you getting views, the odds of you getting followers is going to be little to none, slim to none. So please follow this checklist. First, your post needs to be a duet or a stitch of a video that has gone viral before or a trending video. It needs to be something that you've seen trend under your niche specific hashtags on a top creator in your niche or generally on TikTok on the For You page or the Discover page. If it does not meet that criteria, do not post it. Secondly, it's got to be posted at the right time. If you're new to TikTok and already don't have trending videos, then you need to be posting from 10 a.m. to 12, from 1 to 3, from 4 to 6, and then again after 7 p.m. Don't just post in one of those time slots. You guys need to be testing all of them to find out which one works best for your niche, for your account, for your location. TikTok is a geo-focused app, so post at those times during your time zone. I don't care if you're in California and you want to reach people in New York, post at those times for your time zone. Trust me, it is going to make a huge difference. That being said, if you do have trending videos on your page, you've already had videos on the For You page, you've already had videos past 10K views, you guys need to go into your analytics, go into your content, look at your trending videos for the past seven days, and those times that those videos were posted are going to be the best time for you to post on your account, post at those times. Third, you need to have a trending sound in every single video. Even if you add a trending sound and turn the volume to zero, it can significantly help your account, so please make sure there's a trending sound on every single video that you release on TikTok. Fourth, the video's gotta be the correct length for your niche. Do not make a POV video 
film that's 60 seconds long. The POV niche, they're smaller videos. They're shorter videos. Now I know I said earlier, nine to 13 second videos work best. There are nine to 13 second trends in every single niche. I don't care what niche you're in. There are nine to 13 second videos. So please find those videos. But in addition to that, whatever post you're trying to make, like if you're recreating a video and the creator originally did it, it was 60 seconds long and you try to do the 30 second long version, do not do that. It's also gotta be 60 seconds long. Easiest way to find out the length of a video is to duet the video, post the video as a private video on your page. I'm not saying post the video and then private the video. I'm saying literally just post it as a private video, download it to your phone, and then you'll be able to very easily see when they put text on the screen, see how long the video is, and so many other features that you wouldn't have available to you on the app. Now steps four, five, and six on this checklist are actually going to be the most important. The fourth one is going to be that you get people to click the plus sign in the last three seconds of your video. I emphasized how important this was earlier in this video. You guys need to be doing this on every single post. Fifth, your description should be in reinforcement of your hook. And then sixth and finally, you need to have a hook in every video. Guys, if you don't give people a reason to watch a video in the first three seconds of the video, be it the camera angle that you have, what's going on on the camera, what you say, or the text on the screen, nobody's gonna watch your video. They're gonna scroll away. And guess what happens when nobody watches your video. Yeah, you guessed right. Nobody follows you and nobody gives you watch time. So the TikTok algorithm doesn't put your videos on the For You page and you're never going to get exposure. So many people are uploading content that's not TikTok native, that doesn't have a hook, that doesn't incentivize engagement, that's not based off something that's trending. And honestly, if you're doing that, you're just being ignorant after watching this video and me giving you the blueprint for how you could be successful on TikTok. That being said, guys, there are a couple types of people that watch my videos. The first type, they just watch this whole entire video and they don't take action. They don't do anything at all. They're the people in the comment section saying that this stuff doesn't work. The second type of person, they watch the video, maybe took a little notes, maybe even wrote down the checklist and then they try to implement it. It doesn't work. But the third type of person, that's the person that takes action. And mainly, I'm talking about the people that get into my mentorship program and get guaranteed growth on TikTok. If you didn't know, I have a mentorship program where I guarantee I can help you grow on TikTok. You heard that right. I'm literally going to guarantee I can help you grow. If you don't grow in the 30 days in the mentorship program, you're going to get your money back. No questions asked. Try getting your money back for college. Try getting your money back for school. And guess what? You can't, but I'm guaranteeing that I can help you grow on TikTok or I'll give you your money back. If you want to learn more about it, go to the link in the description. But to put it simply, after signing up, you're going to go through six steps to becoming a TikTok expert course. I'm going to send you a personalized plan telling you what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, what to do differently, what to avoid doing. And then for the next 30 days, I'm going to guarantee you grow by following up with you every 48 to 72 hours holding you accountable, telling you what to do differently, telling you about new features, giving you new post ideas, and so much more. If it sounds like something you want and you know that TikTok is a huge opportunity right now and you want to take advantage of it, then please get into the mentorship program. You won't regret it. In fact, you're either going to get guaranteed results or a zero risk money back guarantee. So get into that. You can find that at the link in the description. If not, I strongly suggest you guys check out the other videos that I post on my channel. In fact, YouTube thinks that you should watch the two that are about to come up on the screen next.